why is that you all don't believe that the next mark zuckerberg or the next team jobs or the next big google or the next big anything come from here let's build clone versions of facebook google youtube everything everything we'll build and we'll build top notch quality Welcome to Millionaire Mondays, the show where we bring you the stories of real Indian startups told by the entrepreneurs that built them. I'm Caleb Friesen, and on the show today, how Roshan Vadashri is open sourcing the world with Permissionless, a platform for building on-chain corporations. Today, the internet is dominated by Web2 giants. Our online lives are powered and controlled by companies like Google, Amazon, and Meta. And if we're being honest, most of us are pretty accustomed to this reality, even if it means giving away our privacy and freedom of choice to these private corporations. But what if someone were to open source these platforms? If, for example, Facebook was controlled by the masses via a blockchain instead of being controlled by Mark Zuckerberg, what would that look like? Well, Roshan Vadashri wants to find out, and he's chasing the stream with his Web3 startup Permissionless, a public on-chain corporation infrastructure provider. Now, in many ways, Roshan's entire life has been leading up to this moment because he's never been one to take permission. He does whatever he wants and doesn't let other people stand in his way. He's a singer, a dancer, a painter, and a true serial entrepreneur. But this passion for living his life on his own terms was born out of a situation that he had no control over. When he was in the fifth standard growing up in Mumbai, his father fell on some hard times and Roshan's family went from being well off to nearly bankrupt. This experience traumatized him and shaped many aspects of his formative years. I still remember vividly, fifth, fifth grade, our financial conditions dropped. As in like, from like bungalows and <laughs> Mercedes to like drop to, we had to go back to a chawl with literally no food to eat. This was a condition that I saw from there till here. My like tra traumatic AF. Uh, we were in a very good public, uh, good international school called as Oxford uh, in, in Mumbai. I had like my parents had to get me out of there, uh, my mom, my AC and me, and we had to go, go into a convent school. Like there was no, not enough money for fees as well. And here in convent school, fees only 600 rupees. And that was unaffordable. Like the thing is what happens is people don't realize that when you are like, when you are from poor to you go rich and stuff like that, uh, comparatively when you fall, you understand that. But when you are like extreme rich and then you fall, that is a mental traumatic condition. Like that condition is different. You can't experience that. And I experienced it. So, but then uh, I I hate asking people. I, I hate like, uh, like if I want something, I'll take it. I've been like permissionless from day one, day one. If, if anything, if I want something, I'll take it. I don't I don't I don't go there and ask. But then I don't harm you. That's the only thing. Like I won't take what is yours. If it is mine, I feel it is mine. I'll take it. So uh, what happened was this is very cute, <laughs> but then again <laughs> it caused a lot of problems. In uh, sixth grade, when I was just entered this new school, so I wanted money. And like I, I always had a snack for money. I think that money saw money. Money cannot buy happiness, but money can buy harmony. So money is important. I was like, what, what should I do? So my 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 sibling Ayana, she basically had this uh, something like made out of strings. It was called Scoobies, made out of strings, and you know she had it on a bag and stuff. I said, what is this? Like this is like, you know, this is the school thing that somebody from other school got. So I thought I saw that and I saw that, you know, like all these kind of things. And I got like 10 bunch of that. And I started making it, making it, making it. Making it. Uh, then I created like, you know, this uh, J and gave it to a girl I was, you know, talking to back then. She liked it and I asked her to put it on a bag. So then she like displayed it everywhere and she people started coming back to her that who gave it. And they came back to me and started buying from me. You know, the business got so big, extremely big. We were doing, I was very uh, crazy to say this. I was doing like 25,000, 30,000 rupees per month in school. And this was like next level. The uh, PT teacher, like the PT, like the entire council, they got me. They smacked me first. 
you know what they did <laughs> it was so bad they literally in the in the calendar in the school they have this sign which says that student can't indulge in business activities literally so this was the scale and which and then i got smacked my parents were got because like what 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 wrong did i do what so okay this is like uh, everyday bashing of the indian education system but this is happened now like <laughs> you can't like as a as a kid when you see that instantly your your dreams is cut like you are a, you there was a guy who was beginning entrepreneurship and like we do machine learning models and we understand reinforcement learning and negative reinforcement positive reinforcement so as a kid you get this kid <laughs> this yeah, is done so but like with me i think some chemical problems i get opposite <laughs> i get pumped <laughs> i'm like what you stopped me now i'll do something else so then i thought that what if i like then i started coding then i started coding thing and then i forget about it like okay okay and code because coding i was making money as well so <laughs> that's what happened Tell me tell me about that. I mean, what My age God. did you start coding? 11 11. And what were some of the projects that you worked on? Uh I if like so such a can be like a 2 hour thing that the the stuff I have discovered in the dark web. Where like most of my of course what, where do you think I am coming from? You seeing that all of this character and all of this knowledge this is not this I am called light in the dark web. because i am i have been following good principles ethical principles and stuff like that but that was at the age of so you were born in 11 11 what kind of what kinds of uh... for nokia s40 phones so uh, the story is funny i i was like extremely i do like uh, because i was people pleasing i was constantly hyper active like i was extremely ha- active as a kid and because of activity i used to cause a lot of trouble a lot of people so then my mom used to When I used to come back from school, so the nanny used to come in, she'd lock me up, or the neighbor should lock me up in the in at, at my home. I'm telling you, it was terrible, and I deserved it. And then when she used to come back from office, my mom, she she opened it up at seven thirty, and then I was allowed to go do random shit. So uh, when I was in, so what happened is that when, when I was home, there was nothing else to do. I had my mom's Java books and all this kind of things. Then I had a music system. Then I had football. I excelled all three of that. So like I can dance, I can play football, and I can. code so there was nothing else to do there was no friends and i never like until so i have my best friend called as nikhil rudra is my best friend before that i had there was no 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 concept as best friends or friends i was always a kid who had like lot of people around him but then nobody would come for my birthday so that kind of things but then nikhil started coming for like nikhil started remember my birthdays and stuff like that so i owe a lot my goodness to him wow was, yeah Well, that sounds like um a difficult place to be in as a kid where you're surrounded by people you're a very high energy kid right but at the same time that almost acts as a as a moat around you right other people don't really keep up with that same level of of energy and they feel most of the thing is uh i don't know it's like very weird this of mine that either people admire me a lot and like they like me a lot Or they get like extremely intimidated, and it's been like from a very young age. So we were so we were talking about how you got into coding, and you were kind of using all that energy inside of you for sports, for dancing, nah. for coding, and then I guess at some point you got the idea to start a company making gifts, custom printed T-shirts. No, even before that. No, no. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know, like. Oh. My life is very funny because uh, I did automobile engineering. You did, right? Yeah. You were actually interested in self-driving vehicles. Yeah. Because I was like what is how can I merge bits and atoms? What was the best way of merging bits and atoms? Plus my father wanted me to do mechanical engineering because he thought that I knew coding, I knew software engineering. Why would I do that? I be better I was literally better than the anyone that you know, like teachers or anyone. At the age of 14, I don't think so this is India like people even realize that what I was. There was no PR Like my my family doesn't have a PR vehicle. Otherwise, I'm the I should be that kid, you know, who comes in that uh, TV shows and like sees random stuff. But we did not have PR. This my father was always a focused worker. My mom was always a focused worker. Businessmen, they're businessmen. They're like mom is a executive, but focused worker. So they never thought about making noise. We were always low key. But I was doing this. I did all the things I did. I built I built a self driving car. 
in a final project i can take the names now the you, the company that i worked for for the first like my first company that i worked for <laughs> if you know about it you will know that okay where my american culture comes from i was in hyderabad i was in california and then from there i i have this weird habit until till now of like uh, rabbit holing shit like i can i can if i if i see the trend if i see a word i go like all so when i was in uh, us i got i got this uh, uh fidget spinners so like it was funny back there you should get it in india when i was like you can't get it here it was literally not available like available for like 200 rupees and stuff so and there was this guy who used to live next to me with 1200 rupees fidget spinners were they imported from yeah from amazon they were bling bling that's it like even that was unavailable and stuff you can't get it properly and i was i was very fascinated by this product if you look at it it is independent and you like you need one jot for it to run it keeps on going in independence and you never know when it stops so like this is like the most permissionless thing i ever seen i was like my like i was very fascinated by it and i like kept spinning spinning doing tricks and this and that like wow this is art so i thought you know we'll sell it uh there was another guy who was like who had like 3d printers and stuff like that partnered with him and like set up tribido store i put the website up did some seo we got like 1 million hits in like 3 days because on google trends fields when people are searching like crazy they were not getting they were not arriving anywhere there was no supply no i like the sales shot up there was like first company extremely successful but how are you actually making these fidget spinners like how oh, 3d printers like i i learned 3d printing 3d modeling 3d this within like 7 days set it up like an entire 3d farm where we started 3d printing so every time an order was placed and like i put take every in take in everything like i'm so uh, people hire me even if you're a non this company as a consultant i put take in like everything that you do so the same thing so every time somebody places an order on woocommerce the 3d stl file was created that stl file was sent to the 3d printer automatically 3d printed and then sent it to the packing team where the pack is like shipped it. so like i automated the entire process from so like when you when people said d2c companies i was like one of the first d2c companies to start and like this was actually d2c like from manufacturing to like directly to the customer before it became such a a buzzword or a buzz term yeah. it blew up completely like it blew up i was on, i was like on google search we were like top ranking uh, i was like featured in ndtv gadget 360 then uh there was something called sakal time reached me in my first interview pr interview like massive blew up we were doing 3500 spinners every day which is like almost uh like crazy amount of revenue so each spinner was almost 200 250 rupees earlier we were selling for 400 rupees when uh, we were a monopoly and your unit economics were apparently very good right good good like i like i always make money kali we will even if i say all this philanthropy charity this i always make money like i am i will, I will never be down money like you know, i like you guys it. on amazon trippy toy store the you know what happened? fidget spinners what you were selling to me i don't i would say it's extremely controversial but i see it trippy toy store was getting 3500 uh, fidget spinner orders a day 18th april what happens is that uh, the buy box switches this on amazon something called as buy box we built the listing up from the ground up from all this time we did the seo we did all of these things and there was like a buy buy page there amazon launched it on own uh, brand own seller account and switched it to the tripido store suddenly out of no and so very crony malpractice that they do they switched it scale up 3500 from 3500 orders a day we were receiving only like 150 160 170 for a 19 year old to see that his factories like he have had three factories like the factories are filling in spinners here people are making it the next like until 17th it was all getting sold out 18th everything started piling up piling up piling up piling up and that's not because all the customers just decided to stop buying fidget spinners no just amazon decided that their brand should come above us and like for me it was again see i see this i don't trust people now so many things have happened like from there what happened is that you know, suddenly when you are 19 and when india is not india does not have an example like mark zuckerberg or bill gates yet, it's very difficult now when i'll be successful people can take me as an example okay there was someone who started young and did all of these things before like india does not have a mark zuckerberg or a bill gates or as an example to show that okay you start up on like start up founder and stuff like that there is no journey like that everybody is very old so uh, young people like pa- even parents don't relate to what a young person is doing even young people don't relate to what a young person is doing 
so like i was like you know like during that time when this happened my everyone around me was like you are a uh, stupid that you built your entire this on one website they were like no i'm getting orders on this as well like on our own website as well. we have 30% orders from our own website we have this massive uh, b2b distribution system i was 19 when i did all of this i had spinners going on from ship every day from here to nagaland mizoram as well all these places spinners were going from my this you can ask everyone the kind of operations we have and in mumbai and like in charko a place called charko it's like having an operation like this here is impossible i did this things but then and then what happened was that uh, the investors came in and this and that and they started feeling that and like second thing was again bad thing is that china started dumping its spinners so amazon was selling chinese spinners so price also started dropping and this and that so one vc brokered a deal that you know what uh, this we have all these assets let's just sell it uh, we don't think the option is completed enough to like complete this i was very dejected like i made a mistake i don't want to at talk that, about at it. that point they owned more of the company than than you did it was funny it was technically no uh, it was me and my father who uh, owned like 20 22% but then my fourth father voted against me that like ended our relationship as well and really but uh, yeah it was sad but like uh, they voted against me and then they uh, cuz you're just a 19 year old kid yeah, right yeah. they gave me the name back i was like you take everything from me don't take tripit hostel some day it will come back i when tripit hostel was down you know got sold we were uh, i had like this one year i did like you know continue my education after uh, auto engineering then i was started like you know like snicky suggested that you should you should come to college with me every day and i used to go there i used to dance with these kids and stuff like that i used to do I used to take choreography lessons to their dance crew i was very really fascinated by this like, like there are going to be people around me i'm going to like, i'm going to like talk to them and stuff so nikhil told me that you know you should, you should join join my college so i was going to join bmm that's the mass media but then i have auto engineering i've done auto engineering diploma so i can get like uh i have a seat reserved it's very powerful <laughs> i have a seat reserved in almost any bms colleges like management studies colleges bachelors i can get a seat but i'll do that then so i went to college and there abdul started and even again like there was a uh, there's a situation there i was in a seminar marketing seminar the guy was taking the seminar was asking questions now i am like i'm a, i'm a founder of sold this company for 3 million dollars i understand e-commerce and everything like that more than like he's like specializes you know because i have applied it from like That's ground up trippy toy store it's trippy toy store and he was like taking a seminar about this and then he started saying questions and i'm like this young child okay also like i have a very baby face right and now i am like got a bit fat but i have, i do have a baby face people don't like quickly feel that like this is not someone naughty and stuff and i talk all of these things so he was asking questions he said seo and all this like cpi and all this and i was telling him you know no, this is better i like constantly in this with him the entire seminar this guy was ruined <laughs> then after this he comes and tells me that uh who the fuck are you <laughs> Like who are you? You're, you're not like you're not meant to because the seminar was for he did not know digital marketing. Like he wanted to onboard them to his classes. They're like who the fuck are you? Like some this something off. Who are you? He told them, you know, I am this, I am this, and the college was shit. The college was good. It was like a good college in the sense that the area it was in, but like there was no campus and it could have been so much better. But like he was like, why are you here? And what if I told him that you need to make a Like I'm enjoying life right now. He told me that you are meant for like crazy things. Don't even waste a single second of yours. Then he told me like, what are you working on? I said ugly look. Then like brilliant idea. Keep working. And just for people who don't know, what was ugly look at the beginning? At least, what was the initial idea? It was always about uh, how can we get, how can I get people things faster? My all my all my work is towards. efficiency you know kunal sha said that and he said that aloud and said that that the biggest employer is efficiency fucking so an inefficiency for me solve it no then <laughs> solve it no like why do you, why are all of these people i admire ador kunal sha i love him the stuff that he said and the pot of gold theory all of this the thing is you all see problems 
where are the fucking solutions you are so intelligent extremely intelligent like the one of the top teams in the world and you are building credit card uh, payment solutions that is what you think is the right thing to do right now you all don't see other important projects you all can't see these things that there are important things that has to be built right now from where we can derive value can i can i ask um what are the things that you would this is a little bit of a tangent but for people who are watching it's always nice people are always asking please tell me one startup idea right um what are the problems that actually need solutions right now top 5 rapid fire <laughs> one we need a uh, better biotech projects asap like instantly somebody should be studying our vertebrates and all those kind of things one second uh, we need instantly right now we need like a a global uh, like a global board like a global board but people can just put in some ideas and that will be like a chain of ideas constantly but which can't be removed anywhere in the world we need that right now third <laughs> we need extremely good soil processing systems like we need fertile soil asap in india like extreme do shit to get fertile soil like right now fourth we need to create a like we need to kill all this singular singular apps and have like this one single payment app one single payment app completely connected and fifth we need ablelo <laughs> nice way to tie it back loop it back back around Tell me, tell me about the business model of oh, Ablelo. Oh, that is next because, level. Because this is before Blinkit. This is before Zepto. This was before, before even before Dunzo. Kira, before Kirana Cart, yeah. right? Before Dunzo. Before Dunzo. Dunzo was not even uh, present at Dun. There was like weird thing. Ablelo was pioneer. Uh, what, what Ablelo was basically in the interface, you could order anything from any restaurant, any restaurant, anything, any shop, or anything like that, irrespective. I like this thing. Okay, anything from anyone. I've been following that from very long time. So. So this like you can order anything from anyone. That was the plan. So the entire cataloging and everything was so natural language processed. You could order literally anything. You can order condoms, cigarettes, everything. We had a category called sin as well. Alcohol. We started all of this very long because it was chat. I understand that the thing is, for me, commerce is chat. So the Ablelo's core product is called Chat Shop. Like it was rebranded to Chat Shop. So like we created like an entire. Uh, Uh, conversational commerce thing. That's a pretty pure idea, though, right? We had zero commission, by the way. We yeah. Take, we took zero commissions. We only had subscriptions. Subscriptions, okay. Yeah. So even, the customer even, subscribes. No. Store owner subscribes. Okay. That's it. But it did not the revenue model did not work in India. But it's like because I sold my company previously, I had money to sustain. Got it. So for me, like out of pocket, yeah, you're yeah. you're bootstrapping that. Yeah, yeah, and like. I saw when I as soon as I saw that in China there is going to be a lockdown, I was like this shit is coming to India. I was pretty sure, like I was hundred percent. And I, I, and I take bold bets, huh? What I did was I was like, you know what? Stop all the categories. Only put uh, fresh fruits, vegetables, this and that. That's it. That's when you moved to twenty four twenty yeah. four hour delivery. Yeah, ask cable. I think cable was there. Cable was shocked. Cable, when you miss cable, you don't remember. Like why the fuck is because I like literally we had like beauty and all these categories, electronics. Like no stop everything. We we'll only do fresh. And started doing fresh, and in one month, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, I'm not laughing like this to say this, but fucking I was right. In one month, COVID hit. Boom, March, uh, entire this got shut down. Only we were operational because I got a letter from DGP. Wow. Uh, I use I use when I want to. I use my leverage when I want to. I got a letter from DGP. Even then, the police officer, local officer, was stopping us. But I was like, you know, we have this essential letter. You can't stop us. All this it was crazy. What happened was that because we were scaling like crazy, I had I needed funds, and I could not go back, you know, to my father and like that. Then I did a partnership with my friend. We did together and stuff like that. But the thing is, I I applied to so many VCs. I was, you know, don't want to take them because they might now they might partner with us. Not to call out names, but they did bad, bro. They did bad. As an Indian startup founder who understands macro, the scale at which the VCs are operating right now are so gatekept. Like you can't expect a ecosystem to grow if you gatekeep it. It's an ecosystem. If you can't have gatekeeps, you have the gatekeep for your college name, your ex company name. Then if you're ex founder, then you're from which city you come for. So what you're saying is that basically you needed to go and raise yeah. money, and they just wouldn't give you the time of day. Not not time of day. They used to take meetings, apply everything. 
when it comes to like the final this nobody led it hmm. nobody led my round kale so you're not able to get capital you need capital you're not ready you're not going to go to your dad what did you do a partner with this then we like the operation was going on but then scale stopped we could not could not move so next set of funding i needed at least one 2 million dollars to go so nobody touched us nobody touched us nobody led our round i'll never let that happen to any entrepreneur in the world give me three years if you are good i swear to god never nobody touched us and someone suggested that you know we should go light weight and this really was there so i did then then we did the under chat shop thing but then dukan was a superior product Dukan was a good product. Like I really liked Dukan, and I like Sumit as well. That guy is Sumit Shah. Yeah. I like their culture. Yeah. I like I like what they're building and what they're doing. This did, that guy thought of an idea and he executed it. So I adore him. When his co-founder, but it's funny. But I have messaged them as well. I have messaged them before I was going to the you now chat shop is still running by the way. By the way, Ablu is still running. Huh? Now it's called Ablu again. It's called chat shop. Oh, it's called Chacha. So, the parent project, company is Ablelo. Yeah, the com- the project is going to be called Ablelo because it means Ablelo, which is buy it now. The product which we have in front facing as for the consumers will be called Chat Shop, where anyone anywhere in the like technically anywhere in India can set up a shop, get set up a shop, and you can just chat with them and order. Why did you decide to pivot away from Chat Shop? I I know you still have the name and you're still working on it actively, but you decided to pivot away to Avalor. Oh. Oh, that's true. So uh, when I was doing a chat shop, I was the CTO of uh, one of Gujarat's big, what do you call it, a uh, social media TikTok alternative company. I started as a consultant and then became the CTO. I mean, so that did that take up a lot of your time? No, what happened? Yeah, it was uh, along with chat shop. I think I told you, like, I always make sure that my finances are. Your side, you got yeah, a side yeah, hustle yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, money, and you were investing a lot of money into chat yeah, shop yeah. as well, right? Yeah, chat shop plus other startups and like equity tokens, cryptocurrencies. I don't keep money with me. That is the problem. I have to start accumulating wealth now. I really, really, my like my this is very bad. I have literally, I'm so illiquid <laughs> most of the times. <laughs> now I started keeping money <laughs> because now, now, now I can't be illiquid. I was so illiquid. I was I'm a, I was a millionaire at what twenty uh, almost like nineteen almost twenty company got sold six months I got the check I was a millionaire but I was so illiquid I was so stupid I bought a house I bought all these crazy things thinking that you know this is that and I sold everything <laughs> and I sold everything and put into like uh, it's a technically it is liquid but how do you say it it's an assets good assets now and then I started accumulating cash a bit so all the people who Make money very early. Don't buy a house. It's the worst decision ever. I ma- you have to realize this. I was tw- I'm twenty. I was twenty three. I have experienced peak luxury already. My office. I had a corner office in Burj Khalifa. The way one forty three. I was going to Raju Omelette. If people from Dubai, you know Raju Omelette in Lamborghini every day at Bentleys. But of what use? Of what use? Never ever. If if my, you know the, my. Ex girlfriend is one day I still remember. I was like, we were in uh, Burj Khalifa, one twenty third floor. We used to like go in every day. I used to go every day into Armani. People used to greet me and to go Armani coffee, Burj Khalifa. This was my life. One day we were there. She told me, and I used to wear shit clothes. <laughs> as in like clothes, as in I I never I do not like I do not I do not feel I wear functional. I do functional fashion. I believe in functional fashion. So for me, fashion is functional. So I was like, I do random things, and then one day she told me that. Ross, you're making so much money right now. Where is your Prada? I felt very weird as a person because I was never like. Kerala, I literally you saw me. You came in my Nissan Sunny, right? Nissan like max to max. I'd go is Mercedes S class, max. Otherwise, my Nissan Sunny is so beautiful, bro. Like it was functional, no? Came in here, it worked. I never ever like not even once I bought like luxury purchases. She told me this, and it it changed my changed my brain, bro. Changed your brain or changed your perception of her? Like changed my brain. Suddenly, I became materialistic. Oh. This one statement of hers made me materialistic. Did it make like, you? Did it make you feel insecure? Insecure for the next two months. I did so much spending. I like uh, it's funny to say that like we're so crazy that we got a birthday party was on a yacht, 
wo book a yacht for and like not what her but more of like i started buying prada and like i got like a prada go and like suddenly so that is when i understand that words have so much power so that is when i decided that if i'm going to date someone it will give them so much access to my head not sure. the reason why she was able to have that impact on you was because you had let her in yeah it was this close no it was this close eventually this is what i read uh that that you wrote which was that um they were kind of treating you not as an equal but more as yeah, a yeah, that was very sad i was like a developer too. but then i don't stop i went back went to dubai build from like started as a head of product worked so hard that i they, they had to make me the cto they had to make me i had full like i architected the entire remzo bethanity project it was such a beautiful project that project was so grandiose so bad at operations man killed it i architected the entire thing the entire token architecture of it made sure that everything was correct they did so many bad things i fixed everything and got the token out perfect into the market and it is so difficult to manage tokenomics i did it exactly perfect nobody appreciated me as in like in the market people don't appreciated me that there was this asset which was like promoting thought of people had put in money in there like if that asset actually goes on that would be a netflix documentary like people are putting like 15 million dollars on it it's like if that shit goes down it's a netflix documentary actual documentary and i fixed it and the person who fixed like from the industry from getting a bad name bad rep nobody appreciated me and like why is and like in india why is that you all don't believe that the next mark zuckerberg or the next steve jobs or the next big google or the next big anything will come from here you have to truly believe it and if somebody is saying that is going to do it you have to support him with whatever you can what what will you lose by doing this nobody thinks about this that there is no loss we are so used as indians to do bad things for other people because of our poverty colonization that happened our resources were snatched from us we as a is a civilization i want to say a very deep thing now we as a civilization were constantly ab- about people adding value because we had something called as abundance of resources but when colonization happened our this was stolen from us our abundance of knowledge our wealth everything was because of which indian as a mindset when colonization happened they did not steal away our this they stole our mindset from us we were people who had an abundant mindset we were the most wealthiest people in the entire fucking history of time we accumulated wealth like crazy because we understood abundance they stole it away from us they made us crip for each other they made us feel that we are in a deficit constantly but we were never in deficit we still have the resources right now we still have the resources kale we have all the resources to become a superpower i still don't know that why are people not joining us me anyone anyone like me have like five other roshan man but make india superpower why don't we have that urgency figure out way software is the right way to start let's get there let's fucking take over the entire software world let's build clone versions of facebook google youtube everything everything will build and we build top notch quality i'm not saying normal quality i'm saying top notch you see permission is branding the permission is the way the this is said it's thoughtful we will build thoughtful products we'll get the right people on it right people on building the products we'll take community feedback we'll make it community owned let the people who are using it pay for it and like own it let that happen i want to establish that and we'll get there tell me how permissionless fits into this vision that you're talking about so uh, permissionless will help you create and operate on chain operations that's it occs occs so we'll have two verticals one like any like like facebook google anything like that we'll have our own projects which we are passionate about like async like async spark is proton and stuff code and stuff we'll have our own projects like we have zoomens which is like world's first open source media franchising like it's going to be as good as any marvel series because i believe that <coughs> building good so these like permissionless will have its own important projects of its own which like as i'll be leading of course as a finalist other than that we'll help everyone in the world each and every one in the world to start and run an open source community on project we'll get them the initial funds they want the team they want the contributors they want everything they want you have an idea and you want to work very hard come to the house and the house is going to exist not only here it's going to exist on the internet as well now 
this is physical being built once i i have this certain amount of houses that i want in the world those are physical houses physical like like the house that you see right now currently we're in mumbai we're in the mumbai house we have the house in dubai delhi bangalore everywhere there is the people who want to get involved in open source or want to contribute like do good for the world so this house concept my my, my uh, grandfather was a comrade communist comrade you know uh, in kerala so house this is house concept in in this comradeism where there is house like in every part of the city or your your entire team like is a house full house i don't know exactly what you call it in malayalam but i am very inspired by that so i took that inspiration and decided that you know everywhere there are going to be open source contributors there has to be an house or open source people in tech there has to be people a place where people come in and talk in tech the talk tech design art they come here there are so many rappers and so many artists who want to record in here so house will play that role will play as like an incubator incubation role that is how like this permissionless is that hmm. think of permissionless like facebook or google simple but what is okay the i guess the more important question is what is this idea of occs what is it solving hmm. what is the problem that's being solved here so as a startup thinking person right this is the question that we always ask firstly forming an official corporation with someone is like next level difficult you know there are companies that are built being built on whatsapp groups technically it is that simple It is just that you are not able to factionalize the ownership. We have blockchain now. We have an immutable real-time database which can real-time factionalize your uh, ownership or read or write uh, based on your like you know based on the ownership that you have. It give you conditions, preconditions as well. So all this is possible. Now you have to leverage something like this. Why do you need a jurisdiction? I still don't understand. If you are an internet business, if you have efficient ways of so that is why we are building computers so that you know uh, fiat to this is also solved. so that any occ doesn't even need a bank account you have an entire economy right on on chain right now which is usdc usdt all the coins and tokens in the world you can have your own tokens you don't need i don't think so like stripe and all are like if you do it correct 5 years stripe is gone It's gone like they have to the processing layer the finance element layer if if gets on ethereum i see a good future I see a good future for ethereum polygon even pewter comes in Is this, is this where Pewter comes in? You you were mentioning, um, actually, sorry, it's on your website that Pewter. At least this is what's written for Pewter right now is that the goal is to solve this problem of uh, crypto to fiat currency. But you currently you need KYC, you need the government or the bank involved. So this would be sort of a solution to that problem. Yeah, it, it, on Pewter, what will happen is that. This will start as you know, people will be able to convert crypto, fiat, and all those kind of things. But it's going to be the final layer. That's just the MVP. Yeah, that's just the MVP. That's the start of it. Pewter, Pewter is going to be the final layer, like the final layer, which will uh, integrate Web one, Web two, Web three together. Hmm. Like it's technically you can say it like layer three or whatever, but I'll call it the final layer. If I am going to iterate on Pewter, going to work so hard on Pewter. there won't be another blockchain ever required ever you'll be able to use all the networks inside pewter itself just in terms of like the larger vision sort of you know maybe a year down the road or two years down the road like what does permissionless look like and ultimately what are the big problems that um it's solving or like what kind of impact do you hope it will have yeah. i'll start with uh, next one year we'll be able to create like a significant impact on the way people work that's for sure people get a uh, basic like the base opportunity part with async i'm pretty sure like in the next one year 1.5 years uh, i'll be able to capture a lot of global market share from fiverr upwork and all these people pretty sure like easy easy kill like you want to have a website you come to async you create like five task of that you like you get five, five people to build it together like asynchronously and your website gets built in like slash one half of the time wow plus at one ten the cost you'll get that on async There are so many Filipino developers, Indian developers lined up to work on this. You're going to get tasks done in one dollars. I'm going to I'm going to disrupt the entire this. I'm going to connect people. Like you get task for one dollar, Caleb. You get anything done for one dollar. Code, snippets, component, this and that. What will people do? 
how are they going to stop us that's one year one year and i'm going to api everything so you can integrate async into your slack your your trello board your jira everything everywhere directly like we have an integration with github right now and we have something called as coda you might call it electronify so i'll get like want to do this but mostly coda where you will be it's like a enter id like a replit open source community own id inside your browser now even if you have a shitty laptop you will still be able to do task and make that 1 dollar you come here and make 1 dollars bro and 1 dollar a day for a person who is just learning he'll make like 10000 dollars of it i'll people there were hundreds of people who said that they want employment they'll give employment to people nobody came up with a solution to actually do it we are doing it and i'm so glad what is your vision for india <sighs> I sorry see. i know that's a huge question maybe maybe not answering it in complete detail but like just as far as like this I, I, india as a country is very beautiful like we all are very proud people we all were extremely proud we we did things which were important to us we did things which were which like which were goodness like we followed the non alignment policy during wars and these things like two three wrong influences two three wrong conquerors and colonialists killed our self worth and then this bad, bad party ruling us for a long time i say that aloud it was a bad party ruling us it was it was nepotism it was all this kind of thing it was anti permissionness now finally it feels like we are moving towards things or doing good things and i see india as a very big superpower like i actually believe that and i'm working towards it and i'll make everyone work towards it like right now i have 35 people working for me in this coming 3 4 months i'll have 300 people working for me then we'll have at least 5000 people working for us in the coming 2 years i'll get everyone to work with us i'll get everyone to work. if you if you don't if you don't have a purpose in life you listen to right now if you don't think of us in life purpose for permission is good if you want to make the world open source if you think that is the purpose you like you come join me anyone That was Roshan Vadashree, co-founder and self-described chief of Permissionless. And you wouldn't know it from watching or listening to this episode, but there was actually a live audience of more than 20 people while we were recording this interview, which was definitely a first for me. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching or listening to the show this week and I'll catch you in the next one.